एवरीवन अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे द टॉपिक विल बी पॉली अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स इट्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ बायोकेमिस्ट्री 4.1 केमिस्ट्री एंड मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ लिपिड्स सो वील बिगिन विद द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स आर क्लासीफाइड एज मोनो अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स एंड पॉली अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स मोनो अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स आर एब्रीविएटेड एज म्यूफास एम यू एफ ए एस वाइल पॉली अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स आर एब्रीविएटेड एज प्यूफास दैट इज पी यू एफ ए एस now the mono unsaturated fatty acids are also known as omega 9 fatty acids the examples of omega 9 fatty acids are oleic acid erucic acid and narbonic acid oleic acid is the most common of all the omega 9 fatty acids the sources of mufas are avocados olive oil canola oil safflower oil peanut butter sesame oil peanut oil olives nuts and seeds now among the polyunsaturated fatty acids it is further classified as omega 6 fatty acids which is also known as the omega 6 family the examples of omega 6 fatty acids are linoleic acid gamma linolenic acid and arachidonic acid linoleic acid is the essential fatty acid now the pufas are also classified as omega 3 fatty acids so these constitute the omega 3 family the examples include alpha linolenic acid icosa pentanoic acid and docosa hexanoic acid so you can see that the polyunsaturated fatty acids have two sub classifications that is the omega 6 family and the omega 3 family the food sources of polyunsaturated fatty acids include marine foods generally among the non vegetarian food these include fishes like salmon mackerel herring they also include vegetables oils oils such as sunflower oil soya bean oil corn oil flax seed oil flax seeds and safflower oil the pufa families the polyunsaturated fatty acids are those fatty acids which contain more than one double bond linoleic acid and linolenic acid are examples of polyunsaturated fatty acids that are essential in the diet so they are also known as essential fatty acids because they cannot be synthesized in human bad body due to lack of enzymes so overall the unsaturated fatty acids are classified as the omega 3 family omega 6 family and omega 9 family which we have just seen in the previous slide now this classification is based on the presence of the first double bond so the omega 3 means that the first double bond is at the third carbon from methyl end example is alpha linolenic acid in omega 6 family the first carbon to carbon double bond is seen as sixth carbon from methyl end an example is linoleic acid and arachidonic acid in omega 9 family the first carbon to carbon double bond is seen at the ninth carbon from methyl end so the example is oleic acid so this is how they are classified now the omega 3 polyunsaturated fatty acids first let us understand this structure you know that these are called omega 3 fatty acids because from this methyl end the first double bond is seen at the third carbon so omega 
वन टू एंड थ्री दिस इज द थर्ड कार्बन फ्रॉम द मिथाइल एंड एंड द फर्स्ट डबल बॉन्ड इज एट द थर्ड कार्बन सो दिस इज द ओमेगा थ्री फैमिली ऑल अन सेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स हैविंग मोर देन वन डबल बॉन्ड एंड द फर्स्ट डबल बॉन्ड इज एट थर्ड पोजिशन फ्रॉम थर्ड पोजिशन ऑफ कार्बन फ्रॉम द मिथाइल एंड सो द प्यूफा examples include alpha linolenic acid abbreviated as ala carbon chain length is 18 there are three double bonds in it the food sources include flax seeds flax seed oil rape seed oil walnut and walnut oil these are some examples of oils icosapentaenoic acid is the next example which has 20 carbon chain length and there are five double bonds Docosa pentanoic acid is the next example which also has 20 carbon chain length and it has five double bonds whereas docosa hexanoic acid has carbon chain length 22 and it has six double bonds all these three oils are generally found in fish oils salmon oil cod liver oil sea fishes like salmon trout mackerel and sardines the omega 3 fatty acids we saw now we'll see the omega 6 pufas so in omega 6 pufa the first double bond from the methyl end occurs at the sixth carbon that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the sixth carbon from methyl end and this is the first double bond in polyunsaturated fatty acids there will be more than one double bond so in linoleic acid which is 18 is to 2 it has two double bonds 18 is to 2 indicates 18 is the carbon chain length and 2 is the number of double bonds and 6 is the position of the double bond first double bond so the examples of omega 6 polyunsaturated fatty acids include linoleic acid which is c 18 which means the carbon chain length is of 18 carbons it has two double bonds and the food sources include nut sunflower safflower and corn oil so these are all found in vegetable oils now the next example is gamma linolenic acid which is also having 18 carbon chain length it also has two double bonds and it is commonly seen in evening primrose oil the next common example is arachidonic acid which is having 20 carbon chain length and there are four double bonds and the food sources include nuts and groundnut oil which are the richest source of arachidonic acid now we come to the omega 9 family that is the monounsaturated fatty acids and in this the first double bond occurs at the ninth carbon from methyl end and it has only one double bond that is monounsaturated fatty acids and that is why it belongs to the omega 9 family now let us see the examples that is palmitoic acid which has 16 chain carbon length the first double bond occurs at the ninth position from the methyl end and the common sources are human body fat and many vegetable oils oleic acid is a c18 carbon chain length it also has obviously one double bond and the human body fat many vegetable oils contain oleic acid it is the most common mufa uh, example erucic acid is a 22 carbon chain length mufa with one double bond and it is found in high concentrations in mustard oil and rape seed oil nervonic acid has 24 carbon chain length having one double bond and it is present in substantial quantities in brain so now you can see the structure of uh, mufa 
that is oleic acid and you can see that the first double bond is at the ninth position from this methyl end and therefore it is known as 18 is to 1 omega 9 18 stands for the chain carbon chain length 1 stands for the unsaturation and 9 stands for the position of the double bond which is at the between the 9th and the 10th carbon. Now there is geometrical isomerism that is unsaturated fatty acids may so show cis or trans configuration. Cis form of unsaturated fatty acids whether it is mufa or bufa are naturally occurring. They are naturally present in nature. Cis unsaturation results in a bent or kink in the hydrocarbon chain. They increase fluidity of the plasma membrane and they decrease the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Now this is the cis form of geometrical isomerism of unsaturated fatty acids. The cis and trans unsaturated fatty acids the second form of geometrical isomerism is trans form and the trans form of unsaturated fatty acids are formed from partial hydrogenation which may be natural or unnatural. Trans unsaturation results in a straight carbon chain which you can see over here that this is straight and they decrease the fluidity of the membrane, they make the membrane more rigid. Because of this decreasing fluidity of the membrane, it increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases. It is harmful to human health. However, it is used very commonly in food industry because it increases the shelf life of fried food. Oils containing PUFA also have high content of trans fatty acids as they undergo peroxidation. The fast food preparations also have a high content of trans fatty acids. That is why fast foods are considered unhealthy. Now we come to the significance of omega-3 fatty acids. These are important components of membrane phospholipids. They are essential for growth and development. They decrease inflammation. They decrease cardiovascular risk. They promote vasodilation and the risk of rheumatoid arthritis, Alzheimer, cancer are decreased by omega-3 fatty acids. The deficiency of these fatty acids in the body is rare, but however, if the deficiency signs include dermatitis, alopecia, th thrombocytopenia, visual and sensory neuropathy, these are some of the deficiency signs of omega-3 fatty acids. The Omega-3 Pathway From the diet, alpha-linolenic acid is received in the body. Alpha-linolenic acid is an 18 is to 3 essential omega-3 fatty acid. Once it is received in the diet, it undergoes enzymatic reactions in the human body and it forms eicosapentaenoic acid which is a 20 is to 5 omega-3 fatty acid. Icosapentanoic acid undergoes various biochemical reactions to form docosahexanoic acid. Docosahexanoic acid is a 20 is to 6 omega-3 fatty acids. So it has 22 carbon chains and 6 double bonds. Now icosapentanoic acid through biochemical reactions gives rise to prostenoids of series 3. These prostenoids are vasodilators, anticoagulant and mild anti-inflammatory molecules. So they are cardioprotective in nature. Now we come to the significance of omega-6 fatty acids. These are the most abundant PUFA in diet. They are as usual the component of cell membrane phospholipids. They are essential for membrane fluidity. They maintain transepidermal barriers. They are precursors for various bioactive metabolites. They are inversely related to coronary artery disease. Their deficiency signs are rare and 
These signs include growth retardation, slow wound healing, dermatitis, reproductive problem to name a few. Now we shall look at the omega-6 pathway. Through the diet, the essential omega-6 fatty acid, linoleic acid is received. Through biochemical reactions in the body, it converts to gamma linolenic acid which is an 18 is to 3 omega-6 fatty acid. Through the action of enzyme, gamma linolenic acid is now converted to dihomo gamma linolenic acid which is 20 is to 3 omega-6 fatty acid which means it has 20 carbon chains and 3 double bonds. This now in turn is converted to arachidonic acid which is a 20 is to 5 omega-6 fatty acids having 20 carbons and 5 double bonds. The arachidonic acid gives rise to prostaglandins and leukotrienes. Dihomogamma linolenic acid also gives rise to prostanoid series but the series is series 1. These molecules are vasodilators, anticoagulants and anti-inflammatory like the omega-3 fatty acids of prostanoid series 3. So now this is also cardioprotective in nature. On the contrary, the prostaglandins and leukotrienes result into prostanoid series 2 which are vasoconstrictors, platelet aggregator and they are strong pro-inflammatory. So you can see that series 1 and series 2 molecules have opposite function. Functions of PUFA So, so far we have seen the different functions of omega-6 and omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now I will give you a summary of their functions in total. So the overall functions of PUFA include they, they are important constituents of phospholipids hence they are important part of plasma membrane. They exist in cis configuration naturally, so PUFA increase the membrane fluidity. They are precursors to second messengers. They regulate inflammation, immunity, cell growth, etc. They are important for nerve functions, blood clotting. High concentrations of PUFA are found in retina cerebral cortex and sperms. This indicates that PUFA have an important role in vision, in the development of the brain and in reproductive physiology. So, uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, for more videos, like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Thank you.